when we're talking about multi-factor ETFs here, uh, what are the main ways to build it? Yeah, so I actually think this is going to be a space that's going to get a lot of attention coming up. Um, so when you kind of say multi-factor, it can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. What we're seeing is that there's not a lot of consensus about what factors are being targeted. But we know that in their own right, all these factors are very popular. So we've seen low vol ETFs, momentum ETFs, value ETFs all take, all take off. What multi-factor tries to do is be more of a core solution. So they, seem, they take these factors and kind of bundle them, bundle them all together. So the reason they do that is because factor performance tends to be very different year over year. So you don't know what your momentum is going to do well. You don't know what your low vol is going to do. So these try to be a little bit more diversified and merge these factors together in one product. So there is one um, that's quite popular already from Goldman. What What is it about that one yeah. that has made it popular? Sure. So Goldman came into this space in a really big way. Uh, the ticker is GSEL. It's a large cap multi-factor product. It's their first ETF uh, that they launched. It's now their biggest ETF. Um, but where they really kind of came in big was with the fee. So on average, a smart beta ETF is about 40 basis points. They came in at nine basis points, um, which is very Vanguard-like of them. Uh, and it's had a lot of success. Uh, it's, it's launched in 2015. It's got about $3 billion in assets. So that low-cost approach has definitely been helping them. And speaking of Vanguard um, and its low-cost approach, it has a new entrant. And, yeah. you know, one could say if Goldman's offering is Vanguardish in fees, Vanguard's offering is maybe Goldman-ish in yeah, strategy, yeah. Uh, what exactly does theirs do? Yeah, so this is why I think there's going to this is the other component is why there's going to be a lot of attention because Vanguard doesn't launch ETFs very often and when they do they just tend to be very plain vanilla. They came in this year uh, with these actively managed factor ETFs and they have a multi-factor one. Um, they're a little bit different in that they're actively managed meaning that they're still targeting a specific factor but there's a PM monitoring it kind of deciding when he wants to rebalance uh, and something that we don't say often it's not the cheapest uh, it's at 18 wow. basis points so it's actually double the price of the Goldman uh, multi-factor product. Indeed quite rare uh, for Vanguard